Hello and welcome one more time. My name is Alex Centeno and in our previous episode we took a look at how to trigger some Python scripts uh, to open DaVinci Resolve in, uh, from our iOS device, so whether it was like the iPhone or an Apple Watch. But uh, I mean, that's pretty basic, just opening DaVinci Resolve. So a few days ago, uh, for those of us who follow Darren Mostyn, the professional colorist, um, he posted a video about how to set the properties of the project in a default way. So you can select all the properties, the setup of the project, and make it the default. So every time that you open a project, it actually starts with those settings. And that's pretty cool. But sometimes you have one, two, three settings that you use normally to start your projects. So this technique that I'm gonna show you is precisely how do we trigger um, with uh, different kinds of uh, settings for different kinds of projects. I'm gonna show you specifically how do we trigger one for HDR uh, and how do we just trigger a regular one with Rec. 709. Both of them are gonna be 4K, but of course you can change this to whatever you want. Let's take a look. All right, I am here in the shortcuts uh, for Mac OS um, app. And here I have an app that I created or an automation routine that I created called Create New DR Project. Uh, the first one is just the default one. If there's no input, it just continues. Then first is going to ask us for a number that we're going to use as a preset. That number is what is going to represent whether we're going to be using an HDR project or a Rec. 709 project. Uh, a couple of things are different from our previous example. As you notice here, we're changing directory to where I have my Python routines, but also we're adding those API libraries from the Vinci Resolve here. And the reason is because uh, when we're scripting inside of iOS or Mac OS, those libraries are not triggered automatically. In other words, your path doesn't load in the same way as if you were coding or you were triggering those scripts directly from your Mac. So uh, that's why we're in, in including those here. Once we do that, then we run the script over SSH. So we connect to my local machine and then we run uh, the routine which is first we run all this text and then we run Python 3 start.py. Uh, and then as an input or as an argument, argument number one, we're gonna pass that preset that we selected from here. So in essence, we're telling it either zero or one. And then just notification of what happened. Let's take a look at the script. All right, so um, the first two lines, basically, I'm just calling foundation, which you know what it does by now. Uh, we're also calling daytime for a couple of things we're going to do here. So the first if basically checks to see if we are returning the argument, which of course we are. Uh, and then it's just going to assign it to an object called project preset. Otherwise, it just tells us, hey, you need to uh, select a preset. Uh, we are going to assign the now time uh, to a variable now, and we're going to use that as the name suffix. So we are going to come up with an original name for our project. So we're creating a project from scratch. We're going to call MKS underscore P, and then we're going to add the year, month, day, hours, minutes, seconds to create a unique uh, custom name for that project. And uh, we're going to create that project with, uh, with the API, the scripting API for DaVinci Resolve, which basically calls cd.projectmanager create project with the name that we defined here. So if it's an HDR preset for HDR, then uh, we select a number one. And so we change by using project.setPreset we change it to the preset that we have, which is for 4K HDR PQ 24 uh, frames per second. Uh, so basically, 
we're going to start all of our projects with the default, just as Mustin did. Um, but in the case that we want to do this in an HDR project, then we're going to give it a one instead of a zero. So the default is zero. Uh, but if we are using an HDR project, we're creating an HDR project, then we just give it a one. So let's take a look at what happens when we trigger that from our iOS device. So I'm just going to open here and I'm going to show you my screen here. All right, so I have my shortcuts open here and I have one called create new DR project. So I'm going to click on that one and it's going to ask me if I want to give it a zero, which is the default or one. In this case, I'm going to select one so that we actually see a change in the preset. So I'm just going to enter one, click done, and then that's going to go to my local machine and actually trigger a new project, hopefully with HDR settings. Let's take a look. All right, so we see that the creation of the project with the appropriate name happened. So that's pretty cool. And what we're going to do is check our project settings, which is a timeline resolution of 4K. And if we go to color management, you'll see that it's color managed HDR PQ. And it is using the preset that I selected for that purpose, HDR PQ 24P. Um, so basically, you can trigger any kind of Python related scripts, whether it's from your Mac uh, by typing scripts, uh, either in an interactive uh, console or by doing it directly as calling scripts like I've been doing. Uh, and you can watch all those episodes or you can even trigger them from your iPhone uh, or you can trigger them from your Apple Watch or you can trigger them from anything. You could even like set up an NFC tag and trigger that uh, to do something. So it doesn't even have to be a local machine. It could be across the globe where I actually click something and it actually triggers that particular Python script. I hope that this has been really helpful. And if it has been, please consider liking, subscribing and commenting below. Take care until the next one.